yeah welcome back everyone it's another sunday live number 8 and we are going something different today before going further there was some quick updates and uh, maybe some of them are maybe interesting for all of you we had a interaction with uh, a successful applic- applicant uh, for the hoko university yesterday i have recorded the session it was uh, a bit longer so i didn't want to put everything here we had some i mean one to one help also like after selecting will be helping so there was some more discussion longer so so the useful part or the uh, the good part for the applicants uh, we are, I have been processing i think i'll get back here very soon maybe today or tomorrow i'll upload the discussion was really really interesting uh, the person who cleared the Uh, the application for the max university is a very uh, he has a good story so maybe you will i don't want to spoil the your your uh, experience when you watch i it suggest update and uh, additionally i think you have seen this current uh, update today we are going to talk i think the hoko university i didn't change the title that is yesterday's title let me change to today title what was the today one is chiba university tokyo chiba university tokyo and next uh, it's a minor one but uh, still it's good to discuss some normal universities alongside chiba university tokyo next scholarship mm, weekly live interactions so this is today's topic i just put the title mostly i'll put it short today uh, there is no queries or questions after let's say after some time there was a person joining here samyak san maybe uh yeah he left again anyway maybe we can discuss on the go today uh, maybe the topic was shorter but i i will try to take your questions if you have anything chiba university Countries prepared. Yes, Shiba University and uh, what else? Uh, the topics. Yeah. So there is this another resource I would like to share. Maybe today, yeah, Shiba University was shorter. So I will try to share how to find the living expenses in Japan uh, before coming here. How to understand a bit more. Let me. Hey, what is this? Yes, screen share. We don't want to disturb your experience, so I'm trying to put this one here and this one. Live streaming to Hoka University Google search. Where is this one web page? Okay, so capture cursor client area. This is the Hoko University website. I mean, the Google search. So I'll try to discuss a bit about the Hoko University, and then I'll try to give you a details about uh, how to understand the living cost in Japan. Maybe any city, anywhere. I have shared some of them in my apartment moving in experience. By the way, I got a road official the pro- professional mic. I think the voice was much better be- today compared to other. This is just uh, I'm listening to you. If there is some communication from the Zoom, so this is only uh, audio. I'm speaking to you through the proper mic. I hope this mic quality and the clarity was much better than before. Okay, let's get into the topics today. Uh, let me now write down so it is easy to put into chapters later on. introduction and uh, what else introduction on the chiba university uh, university and then uh, renting and expenses living expenses living expenses how to find how to find before coming to japan these topics i'll be sharing maybe those who are coming in japan also now i, I don't think everyone aware about this mm, my notepad is showing here what is this one i'm writing this area i can put it on the small side on the left side uh, yes so 
when you write a small one here this i'll make as a chapter so later on whoever you wanted to watch you can watch directly the chapters uh, those who are playing this video later on so chiba university first right this is a screen share and this is a uh, <coughs> shakti san hello i send you a text okay let's get into the topic chiba university which is shared on the screen yes so chiba university is not so popular university like we speak uh, the new and old universities both so we wanted to discuss a bit about the, uh, the all the other universities also so this is one of the university i am trying to take today i'll be discussing few more the moderate universities and the ambitious the, the top universities also in the upcoming schedules so you'll get to know a bit more so chiba university if you see the founded is the 1947 it's not it's still not a old one it's still uh, sorry it's still not a new one it's a old one post graduates are there and total enrollment it's, it's still a it looks to be a good university so what is there for us for today's topic chiba university let's see the times ranking a bit quickly uh, yesterday uh, that student also referred this times ranking he also used a bit i'll uh, you'll watch the video later so see the ranking was uh, world ranking was a bit longer uh, japan ranking was 21st this is a, a bit considered considerable one and impact rankings are also good so impact rankings means they, they are growing and you can see the international uh, uh, percentage of international students is 5.8 percent still uh, growing you can consider they are it's more, less means they are having a uh, scope for uh, attracting more foreigners right so that way it's a positive note for us for the topic today there are uh, engineering and physical sciences and economics and business also is there and the social sciences law is there psychology computer science arts and humanities clinical and preclinical health so most of the specializations for those who are applying for embassy track you can get to uh, utilize this opportunity but for those who are trying for university track i hope this all schools you may not find the slots in the application so uh, utilize this I would I would uh, I would recommend uh, I would recommend you to utilize the way you are going to apply. Is there a voice enhancer? I can put a voice a bit louder. Is it uh, audio input device uh, thirty de twelve decibels? I can put. I don't know how big it comes. I hope it is. Uh, uh, let me hear myself. Uh, thirty de twelve decibels. I can put yeah i don't know how big it comes i hope it is uh, let me hear myself yeah i think this is louder and soft yeah i don't know how big it comes i hope it is uh, let me hear myself yeah okay i'm muting yeah i think this is louder i think this is fine if there is any uh, uh difficulty you can put in the chat box or any i will understand maybe next time i'll also watch if there is some not good i'll not put this uh, uh, loudness of the decibels in the software so okay this is uh, the topics we have seen from times and next we go for uh, university uh, mixed scholarship so this mixed scholarship for the normal universities what is the topic we discussed uh, if you remember from the previous videos there may be chance that they may not give ex ex explicitly uh, opening or the details for the mixed slots maybe there may be limited schemes and limited slots so they may not put publicly that's a you can understand by now that's a previous discussions if you have not seen watch the discussion in more detail so uh, this is the university international help desk where i search in the google you can see that's what i wanted to tell you people how to do it by yourself so this is a recommendation so research student undergrad students and embassy recommendation and uh, university recommendation this is we can talk and embassy recommendation i think it's not much to discuss because you have to clear the embassy recommendation from your own country uh is it given a uh, mixed india and other countries malaysia was there mixed india was given not yet so it will come soon other countries also so embassy recommendation uh, that is nothing to discuss much but university recommendation see this one for this category chiba university selects and recommends research uh, recommends research students directly to mixed as candidates for japanese government scholarship 
this is a normal words but they didn't give any other information how to proceed or contact with the professor so what was our suggestions in this case uh, I, we are recommending or suggesting it's a suggesting for apply to the professor and the professor usually guide you to contact to office and the office people you give you more details like that so you can utilize either ways so there is nothing much in this one what we can do but uh, we can go for the main website and see some faculties and if there is some more information sometimes the scholarship details you can get better from the individual faculties uh, undergrad students or graduate academics tuition and uh, financial support about paying tuition fees admission tuition exemption scholarship this is this is also for those who are trying for self-funded you can expect some tuition exemption from the universities many universities so this also you can explore if you are looking for this option special student payment private scholarship for international students and uh, scholarship system so support measures for this is uh, table of contents for private scholarship organizations uh, there is a lot of text to read okay not found okay so there are some private scholarship that is i could say from this observation and uh, then let's go to the faculty individual divisions uh, some division we go to uh, we where is this engineering because i am from engineering let me see so go to the faculty and then see the entrance exam and engineering and education faculty members list of faculty members and uh, these are the professors and laboratory website if it is japanese use the translator i am using the auto translation it is working well so you can find like there are some international students means there is some scholarship possibility if it is chinese means don't expect because they have the separate scholarship so that's a different scheme but if there are any other international students you check like this the labs and uh, like that you can explore relevant to your your streams the professors and other their students current students in the research areas uh, field of study publication research keywords and the manufacturing technology field of study so like this you can i mean there are a lot of things you can, if you seriously sit for the review the first review a lot of things we can review from the faculty profile and the school website first thing is a scholarship uh, where is my screen so first thing is scholarship you can verify in the school or in the overall website and second thing second thing is uh, the international students in that laboratory in the past is there any students or currently is there any students and the third one you can even expect uh, the private scholarship is there any kind of connection or active interactions with uh, with the scholars or with the university or the laboratory and uh, maybe uh, you can exp yeah the research review also you can do whether the research publications or the research theme is relevant to you so like this there are multiple things you can utilize when you do the first review it could be a little longer like i'm doing for the first time this university i never do before i'm doing in print of you so little longer but you will understand this is the situation you can delays all these things in the if you do this review thoroughly and uh, yeah that's a short one i don't want to keep it for longer and before going for next topic i'll take some queries here in the chat box my question is related to phd admission do the university take some separate entrance exam or just the interview i am applying for tokyo institute of technology actually uh, it can be both uh, but usually the professors will interact before so professor interview will be sk uh, skipped many times so so there may be no uh, interview from professor and division but there will be interview from the next panel of the university so the next in the university committee will be there they will do the interview and uh, for privately financed uh, uh, it is still with, will be there they will verify casual questions and uh, the your ambitions and uh, how you will support yourself like those things maybe it is not so typical or difficult one 
so our privately financed things are much much uh, liberal because we are paying right so they are getting benefited the university are the uh, the the schemes so for private financial uh, for private financial students uh, the rules are the con the cutoffs will be little different even in iit also we have seen that cutoff for the uh, the categories of public and the private categories i mean the other categories in the admission there are different uh, scores so it is i think uh, it is good if you are coming for self funded privately financed pravin yadav san uh, i think uh, it would be only interview i could say like entrance exam mostly no they call entrance exam because all the pre procedures sometimes they considered as exam no written exam sometimes for phd especially because you are already completed masters they believe that your masters and bachelor's degree as a proof so they to my understanding they don't do so that's a q and a and then uh, yeah another topic about uh, the intensive course Inten intensive guidance so i have started interacting with the people i got some responses in the form we uploaded in the community tab now i have stopped taking new entries because the old entries sorry to say there are uh, some entries people are not replying back when i sent the mail for intimation it went to the spam maybe if you are already applied if you didn't get mail means please check in your spam and reply me back the first discussion i tried to communicate some couple of them are I have spoke to them i given the inputs for what to do before next meeting but others are yet to turn up so there are some uh, time zone issues and the work issues it will be there but if you are a serious aspirant you should communicate and ask me back maybe the time you are texting me um, the mail or whatsapp uh, i may be available to speak immediately and finish that short works so the works which less than takes uh, some there is this saying no the work which takes less than five minutes you can do immediately something like that so i i'm trying to put my uh, interest also so that is one uh, yeah if you are registered for intensive guidance please do check your spam or rip, uh, send me a mail i'll try to interact and guide you what to do and uh, the thing is that if you are taking intensive guidance means i will expect you to update me everything so that the way uh, to analyze the situation or the problems are different and uh, please be sure that it's not that we are giving some extra weightage or something you have to do your homework still it's not that it will come easily still you need to put your efforts yesterday's story was also so long and so inspiring story i made everything but uh, i think the compelling video my software got stuck i think i'll upload today or tomorrow sooner so that is about this topic and the next one q and a uh actually i am per uh, i am i aim for university scholarship later on yeah that is possible university private scholarships people do get even yesterday that the hoka university student said uh, uh, i can bring here yeah it is similar so i'm uh, you listen the video again his own words so the the topic is something uh, similar like uh, the scholarships for masters is challenging and undergrads is challenging but for phd there are a lot of other resources they get pay you or get support you so it is possible for undergrad and masters the competition is there so it may be either through reducing the tuition fee or to giving the tuition exemption for each semester like it, it is not for three years or two years but it is for every semester based on the performance and the availability of the funds actually i uh, i want to apply for master's degree in engineering how can i apply ah this is a plain question amir san please do do some homework given yesterday when i did interview with the person he said same thing many people are asking how to apply what to do this is a very plain question if you do basic inter internet review even our channel review you will understand all the procedures then you can ask so it's a very plain question but the answer cannot be simple words so to answer you simple you follow the procedures what you are we are sharing that's it i could say so q and a another one q and a what is a q and a i think i can put the question also here right what i am talking phd admission do they take some entrance exam tokyo institute of technology uh, this is the first question and uh, then 
actually i mean but this is okay i want to aim for masters how can i play <laughs> this is a plain question but still i'll put it here so let the people know i should not ask these basic questions it is kind of uh, challenging for those people who, who see because of this some people like me and even there are other people who want to help you but if you ask like these questions they they don't feel like answering also yesterday the student saying to me same thing there is experience so after he gets selected people are asking him but what kind of questions it's very very plain so do some homework and come back we are here to help our best so you can put in the chat box anytime the comments or the uh inst instagram you can ask us i'll try to respond i think there was a uh, uh, uh discussion or the question from the student in the instagram actually i tried to read it i made to reply you back if you are here i'll reply you soon i understood what to tell you but i didn't yet compile the my suggestions properly if you put a mail i think that is easy for me sometime i sit with the ipad and uh, write on the pen directly and send you back yesterday i did uh, one student that review uh, who was intensive guidance uh, from our channel community so that is a uh, yeah so next topic renting and living expenses for those who are aspiring for self-financed or even for those who wanted to come as a full scholarship this is an interesting topic another one is uh, how people earn money right this one i thought of speaking outside and share you later okay i'll speak later so renting and living expenses how do you find it may not be 100 percent, but 90 percent you can find by yourself by using this method see this one actually there are um, let's say let's say uh google go to google let me share the screen this is an interesting story please listen closely you will find it useful may even if you come here or even if you uh okay this is the google search you can see yes so first thing uh, first and foremost thing uh, the idea is there are real estate agents in japan that system of real estate agents are very sound and effective they are following the system and they're maintaining all the things so one of the popular and i like the design and everything very much is apaman shop it is a national popular real estate company so this is one of the place you can find a lot of information also you can find sumo apartments uh, this is another uh, rental company and uh, the university co-op uh how could i actually but uh apartments this is also there uh, university how could i room guide that is also there and uh, there are some more such uh, yeah best stage it's international students friendly inter inter foreigners friendly uh apartment real estate company so you can use all of these details like uh see you can use all of these resources to understand and analyze what is happening for the rents not only the rent what costs are included so one of my favorite is apaman and uh, uh, best stay apaman i used for my house moving also the details are uh, availability is very 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 good i'll show you demo for apaman and uh, best stay will be in english apaman you need to use the google translator automatic translator i use from the google chrome so this i would say you can explore there are uh, a lot of information for uh best stay i think it is sapporo and hokkaido region only there i don't know if it is extended for all the areas so far but they may extend later and this apaman is there across the country so you can expect your details of print in uh, any anywhere in uh, country so english version is there but english version i am not sure let me check so rent rate con rental contract explanation uh, so these are procedures now we want any expenses i told right apartment shop tokyo so in finding rent yeah like this location see this i think there is some open area it will come somewhere this one this this page apamanshop.com the previous one i don't know where it went so here you can select all the regions and you can find the rents i'll give you demo now for hokkaido region at hokkaido hokkaido i did uh okay i'll give hokkaido because i can comment if there is something uh, i can say say new 
and extra so i do for hokkaido like see uh, let's check all the city this is a ward offices the uh, the municipalities and this is the cities uh, like this you can choose and uh, so this sapporo city ward office this is other cities so i sapporo city i'll select this municipality or even you can search by line or station the jr or subway lines every area that is also a good way you can find uh, information nicely and also you can see now this is i searched with the area sapporo and you can see in the map also it's very interesting if you understand how to handle this automatic translator you can see these are the houses available so what is there more these are houses so what so what you may ask me so these are the houses and these are the filters you may understand a bit more so all these keys and details if you want uh, i think i'll recommend to watch this video by two guys in there is a one good video about all the uh, key deposit monies and all you can watch but uh, for now you can also understand by yourself by seeing this one if you spend few hours or few minutes uh, whenever you are having time this is very cluttered so many houses so how do i choose so the rent this is the rent i'll choose up to 35000 yen and including management fee so the management fee goes for cleaning and maintaining the building or the apartment where you will be living so sometimes it will add up so better to include and know the price limit in the search itself here so zero deposit this sometimes you may find so i'm not putting sometimes you may need to put, put some deposit key money is the key money for those apartments they will change the key every time they don't believe that uh, let's say i'm going i'm staying in this house for three months or one year or two years basically the contract goes for two years so that is also you can find by reviewing all these things i'm sharing so uh you can search no problem but for now i'm not searching and these are the uh, the types so studio is kind of one room only uh, mostly in room no 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 kitchen washroom may be there and the kitchen and studio this one r and one k it's similar to one bhk in india the smaller rooms the smaller versions for individuals these are mostly sufficient i would recommend one k and one some people say it is both same and one dk this is also recommended for if you want a bit bigger rooms let's see the prices and occupational area this they count in the meter square here but usually they give tatami tatami mats like if you go the uh, rental uh, details in our houses tatami mat one tatami mat is equals to 1.5 meter square something they it's a japanese traditional way of uh, living style so i'll put i my house is about 20 meter square and uh, i'll put 20 to 25 for single person 15 also sufficient my brother is calling from india uh, i'll pick up after this discussion okay so 20 to 25 and uh, age new construction 10 years you can put i mean it's not required mostly but you can if you are in tokyo or osaka sometimes you can consider because the earthquake prawns so the older buildings may not have the earthquake uh, complete uh, proof but 1992 the earthquake and 1918 earthquake some new norms are came now it's very strong recent buildings are very powerful with all the earthquakes so it is a, a bit uh, more details you watch the kita labs two guys in youtube channel they discuss very deep they are here for more years so they have given the very deep insights uh, i'll comment later more details. so this is some more details you can explore this is structure type i would recommend put steel re reinforced uh, this one not wooden wooden we are not comfortable foreigners sometimes i would not recommend and uh, even the steel one inside it will be wooden uh, the for the insulation for the cold regions japan mostly it is a bit cold in the winters uh, all the all the cities and the building equipment uh, city gas propane gas city gas is cheaper propane gas is a bit costlier but more effective so it is still uh, useful only uh, there are some q and a please wait i am coming back if there is something so the screen is stuck for google chrome is it so i am not share uh, moving anything i'm 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 moving only the right side one is it moving or still stuck i think it's moving let me uh, 
let me change yeah yeah it is stuck i could see oh okay okay why this is stuck but there are two windows how come How come there are two windows? I didn't open. This is still showing. Uh, intro and screen share. How, how this is? It is not responding, but how there is no window I shared? what it is showing now this is google chrome okay got it that is another window now it is moving i believe uh, it is moving on the right side yes sorry thank you for the comment mr Ravin. i just noticed it so yeah i was discussing about these filters on the right side only in this website you can see on the right side here these things i'm discussing uh, this region you can explore later on this link you can find easily apamanshop.com so you can filter out all these things uh, and then go for uh, research and see the well, let's see uh, let let's open one building randomly and see the rents it is showing this much 35 to 36 right so what what is the connection with living cost i'll show you here so the living cost uh, basically the building cost you can know so the rental you can understand and apart from that living cost is uh, cost of the items the vegetable cost it will be not so different in the various places i'll give you a broad observation later on so these are the rents you can see and then open one house even even you can understand how the house looks now with this uh, suggestions from me now this is the design of the house this is the interiors usually it will be like this you can explore for other cities and know where you are going you can explore the design this is a entry uh, and this is a washroom and this is a closet and this is a kitchen living room so mostly something similar to my house but i have a balcony extra so here you can see the initial fees will be there so overall the cost will be around 1 lakh n in hokkaido for initial moment but the rent will be around 30 to 40 thousand low medium cost and low cost will be smaller rooms and 40 to 50 a bit better better houses 50 thousand approx i like city gas and uh, gas cooking for indian curries so i cook i choose gas some buildings are only electricity that also you can filter and see so that is about Apaman and you can find and compare with other real estate agents. This is Sumo. This also you can compare and see the similar way. You can find uh, rental by, see, you get this one randomly searched. You can find and even this is the university uh, co-op. Uh, this is also another good and recommended you will have office in your university i think most of the universities have this office co-op and uh, co-op room guide so university co-op they have these room guides and suggestions it will they'll even communicate with english a bit so this one and even jog jog is another popular one that is required japanese skill jog jog but uh, if you have japanese friend or japanese skill you can try to go for this also and even uh, those who want to share the houses you can understand by reading these more details you will get reduced in that living cost so i think i went uh, how many minutes 34 minutes oh god this is a bit longer so that's uh, that's all for for the today session i thought uh, shorter and uh, something useful so the renting part i'm giving you how people do internally people may not tell so i'm giving you so that you can do some review like uh, websites for university admission similarly you can understand so renting cost and living expenses and any more q and a for today or i think yes so 
okay i put this subscriber only mode for chart because uh, it feels a bit i mean connected uh, those other people if they come and see it's okay but for chart i put this restriction today uh, it's showing me here okay so that's all guys so i'll be uploading the tohoku university the experience of the student very soon and the Chiba University, I have told you now, and the intensive training people who are registered in our form, please do, please do check your spam emails. It might went to spam. And uh, before, and uh, I have shared about the uh, master's degree, a master's, uh, this one Q and A, and the renting and living expenses in Japan. How to find out uh, that I have shared, and uh, YouTube and Nimble Planner. I'm trying to sort out the playlist so you can utilize the playlist in the screen I'm sharing here so I have sorted out if you open the channel I have sorted out these things the the playlist here master scholarship or masters and PhD MBC and university recommendation and this is for undergrad scholarships I have filtered yesterday those maybe it is showing last year but still the discussion is not last year it is useful one so don't uh, underestimate i mean it is uh, if you can understand the suggestions very well it still be useful i uh, we, we didn't put plain uh, so recommendations or suggestions and these are a bit deeper discussions if you can understand and uh, the undergrad scholarships uh, actually these two videos it covers a lot of things but many people are asking questions on the same lines please watch this uh, interview by mr j uh, agnihotri who is from india who shared and i'll bring some more undergrad uh, experiences with the scholars and uh, these are the uh, interview questions and there are some more useful contents you can explore and uh, the community tab i think uh, this undergrad topics i have put i but mostly it is covered in the previous videos but if still there are some suggestions from the audience if there is some more you can put on the chat or if you are shy to put in public you can put me in the instagram you can uh, yeah you can give a like so it will go to more people the more people can comment the new perspectives and this one you can see this uh, topic about the university this is also useful information for aspiring scholars so that's all for today i don't think uh, intensive training link actually i have closed uh, province and uh, let me i need to open again but you please put me mail i don't want to open again because uh, people are not serious and we don't want to I mean, I don't want to judge students or people because of their own problems. If you are serious, uh, if you are really concerned, please put me a mail. I'll ask you to send you the current status, what, what you have tried so far. I think you can include in the mail. What did you try? Like, are you trying for the first time or you have already tried? That's the first question. You can uh, reply me in the mail. And the second question, uh, what was your status of preparing documents? If you have already made some drafts, send to me the first version. I'll give you the feedback. For embassy, you can try for it very soon with that reviews and the third one uh, i would say take some time and get back to me uh, after first review so these three things you can put me mail if you are still interested for intensive training so thank you very much i will good first day. review so these three things you can put me mail if you are still interested for intensive training uh bhagya darshan patil can you make a video telling all universities in japan that provide UG courses in english completely uh actually i would like to spend time for uc but still uh, like i used to say the people are not serious and competition is high but uh, i said i'll consider those serious aspirants who are interested this one i tried to consult it but it's uh maybe i'll see something like yesterday i shared that for uh, pg in the mixed itself there may be some uh, where the english courses are available i will try to put that information for you it may be useful i think that will be good it will work there may be i think the english courses for ug are very few to my understanding because they are recently adding uh, english english courses for making it global for all the all the uh, uh, universities so I'll try to put uh, in short, I could say. Bhagadarshan son, Patil, thank you for the suggestion. So, if I'll go back to my <laughs> research. I have machine is on. I was taking time off for 
clipping live today yeah good luck thank you have a wonderful day time off for clipping live today yeah good luck thank you have a wonderful day